So guys, I'm gonna jump into the laptop in a minute and I wanna show you something really interesting. I'm gonna show you the potential of being able to combine an AI tool like Claude with the Google search engine when it comes to helping you build and launch a digital product. Because what I'm gonna do is just enter this search term and it's gonna be completely random guys, but all it says is how to make a personal statement in Excel. If I just click on search and stick with me because what I'm about to show you is going to make complete sense. If we just scroll down just like this, as we can see, one of the first websites on the first page of Google is of course going to be Microsoft, but the next website just underneath that is this website. And if I click into it, as we can see, it's a blog article that was posted about this topic. They're giving the reader all this information. They're gonna be able to read through everything they need to do when it comes to knowing how to use Excel. But the interesting thing is if I click into this link at the bottom of the article, it's gonna take me directly to a landing page for this spreadsheet where obviously they've listed it for people to check out. And the crazy thing about websites just like this is that they're posting multiple different blog articles on a regular basis. If we just click into the blog tab, as we can see here, they're posting articles, I would say near enough every single day. And they've also got multiple different spreadsheets on their website for both Excel as well as Google Sheets. And if we just take a look at similar web, the amount of traffic that they're getting on a consistent basis is actually ridiculous. Right here, we can see that they're getting over 200,000 monthly visits. And most of you right now are probably thinking, but Sam, what does this have to do with Claude? Well, the thing is, Claude is actually able to build a number of different digital products. For example, it can build eBooks, web apps, weekly planners, and it's also able to build Excel spreadsheets as well as Google spreadsheets. And the goal with today's video is to show you exactly how you can do something similar to this website yourself and what you need to do when it comes to being able to publish blog articles that are going to be produced by AI that also have a chance of being ranked in the Google search results when it comes to doing the right SEO. And don't worry, every single part of this entire process that I'm gonna show you is gonna be done with AI. From building the spreadsheets, from building the website, to doing the SEO and everything in between. So first things first, what I wanna do is show you how you can use Claude when it comes to building your first spreadsheet. So it's actually quite simple. All you gotta do is log into your account and enter the right prompt. Now you can type out the prompt yourself if you know what you're doing when it comes to building spreadsheets. But if you're completely new to this entire thing, what you can do is use this prompt builder that you can see on the screen. If you don't already have access to it, it's gonna be linked down below. It should be the top, maybe second link in the description and it's completely free to use. So all you need to do is select the AI tool that you're working with. And of course, in this case, we're working with Claude. It's gonna come back with all of these different options when it comes to all of these different things that you can build. But right now we're working with spreadsheets. So I'm just going to select it just like that. It's gonna go through a series of different questions. So I'm just going to answer them as quickly as possible. So who is this digital product mainly for? I'm gonna say that it's mainly for everyday people. What problem will this solve? I'm gonna say that this spreadsheet is going to help people track their household income and expenses via an Excel spreadsheet. Just like that, let's click on next. What should the user input to get results from this digital product? It's gonna be numbers or values. What will the output be? I'm gonna say it's gonna be mainly charts or visual breakdowns, so let's select that. And the idle color scheme is gonna be mainly white, red, blue, and green. And then I'm gonna click on generate prompt. All right, perfect. So there we go. It's now come back with the prompt and it's gonna give you everything you need to do when it comes to copy and pasting it directly into Claude. But it's super simple. You're just gonna click on this button just like that. Go back over to Claude. You're gonna paste everything in there just like this and then click on enter. And instantly what it should do is go straight to work to start writing all of the lines of code that's gonna go into this Excel spreadsheet. It's gonna start building it out. It's gonna take probably two to five minutes depending on what type of spreadsheet you're building. But I'm gonna wait for it to be done and as soon as it has, I'm gonna be back ASAP. Okay guys, I'm back and as we can see, it seems to have done a really good job by the first look. So it's giving me a preview on the right hand side over here. It's giving me the instructions or the person that's going to end up purchasing the spreadsheet. It's gonna let them know exactly how they can use it. It's got all of these different summaries, all of these different months at the bottom over here for the whole of 2026 and also an annual overview as well that's gonna have all of these different pie charts and all of these different bar charts. So yeah, this is the first thing I'm sure most of you are going to be surprised by, the fact that Claude is able to do this because I'm sure most of you probably use Claude on a regular basis, but you didn't know that it's able to produce spreadsheets that you're gonna be able to download straight away. 
But what I've just done now is opened it up so that we can all get a better look. So this is what it's going to look like on Excel. Remember, Claude is only going to show you a preview. So you need to make sure that you click into it, make sure that everything works, make sure that everything is how it should be when it comes to the structure and the format of it. But yeah, so far so good. This doesn't look bad at all. And this is something that I'm sure 100% someone would be happy to buy. So I'm going to leave it as it is for now. And remember guys, everything I'm showing you is just an example. But if you wanted to build out a website when it comes to listing it, as you guys already know, if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, I would recommend using Hostinger to do this because with Hostinger, you're going to be able to list an unlimited amount of digital products on your site. You're going to be able to brand it in whatever way that you want. You're going to be able to upload blogs and you're also going to be able to use their AI blog writer as well as their AI SEO tools. This is what I personally use for all of the different websites that I'm using. So that's the reason why I recommend it. I'm going to leave it linked down below as well as a coupon code. All you got to do is click on claim deal if you don't already have an account. And the plan that I would recommend that you go with is the business website builder, because with this one, you're going to be able to get all of the different AI features. You're going to be able to build up to 50 different websites. It's going to come with so many different things. And from there, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this, where you now need to enter your brand name and the description and hosting art is now going to build out your entire website in a matter of seconds. Now, for those of you that might be confused as to what you're going to call your website or the direction to go down, what you can now do when it comes to tapping into the power of Google is to use Google Gemini, because the way that you're going to be able to use it is to create a custom step-by-step -step blueprint. And again, what you're going to need to do is enter the correct prompt. So if we go back over to this prompt builder, this time what I'm going to do is select Gemini. And I'm going to quickly answer all of these different questions. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the prompt that it's going to give me. So let me just select spreadsheet. I'm going to speed it up, but I'm going to be back ASAP. Just remember on this final question over here, depending on what type of traffic method you're going to use, you select it. So in this case, this video is all about the Google search engine. So I'm just going to select SEO and then I'm going to click on generate prompt. Okay, once again, all I got to do is click on copy full prompt, go back over to Google Gemini. I'm going to paste everything in there just like this. Click on tools, click on canvas, make sure that it's on fast and then click on submit. And all you need to do from that point is just click on preview. And what it's going to do is come back with this custom blueprint. Let me just make it full screen. So depending on what answers you selected in that prompt builder, it's going to give you all the directions that you need when it comes to giving you the most clarity possible for you to execute this in the best possible way. For example, depending on your daily traffic, it's going to give you an estimator. So if I was to get, I don't know, around 500 people go into this website and I plan to list it for this amount, this is what I could potentially expect back. But of course, it's just an estimate. If I click into the titles, it's going to give me all of the different titles that I could use for the spreadsheets that I'm going to start listing different competitors that are listing a similar product as well, different domain names that I can choose from. So this is probably going to be the name that I'm going to go with, which is instant spreadsheet. So I'm just going to copy this one and then go back over to Hostinger, paste the brand name in there just like this. It's also going to give me these different blog ideas as well. So this is going to be perfect. I'm going to come back to this in a moment. Step-by-step -step checklist for me to follow when it comes to building all of this out, as well as the prompts that I'm now going to use. So I'm just going to copy the prompt for Hostinger. I'm going to paste it in there just like this. And I'm just going to click on create a website. And there we have it, guys. Literally within a couple seconds, Hostinger has come back with this fully functional website that I need to make some changes to. I'm not going to be able to use it straight away. There's going to be some placeholder text. For example, down here, as you can see, this is not my phone number. This is not my email address. So I'm going to have to update this. And the way that I can do that is by clicking into the editor. There's going to be some other changes that I need to make as well. For example, all of these different spreadsheets that they've listed are just placeholders. So I would say one of the first things that you do is click into store, go over here to products, and you need to remove all of the different products that they've automatically listed. And to do that, you just need to click on this button over here, select all of them and then click on delete. But it's going to be from this point where you're now going to be able to list the spreadsheet that you just made or whatever type of digital product that you're thinking about selling. For example, as you can see, there's all of these different options, but we're going to be working with digital products today. And all you need to do is just fill out all of this information. And there's a number of different ways that you can get the main cover image that's going to go on to your website. 
You can use something like Nano Banana, but what you can also do is just take a screenshot of the actual spreadsheet. This is something similar to what this website has done. They haven't done anything too fancy. All they've done is put a image of the spreadsheet as the main cover image. And they've also taken a screenshot of all of the different sheets as well. So with my spreadsheet, I'm gonna do something similar and I'm just doing this as an example, guys, just to illustrate how all of this works. But what I'm gonna do is just take a screenshot of the spreadsheet just like that. And then I'm just gonna drag and drop the screenshot in there just like this. And what hosting is gonna be able to do is analyze it and it should fill out the title, subtitle, as well as the description. So there we go, it's been able to do it. I'm gonna be able to set my price. So I'm just gonna put a random price for now. Let's put this one. If I scroll down over here, it's going to be in this section where I'm going to add the digital product because when customers place their order, automatically they're going to receive an email with the download link. So you're not going to have to manually do anything. It's going to be sent straight to the customer's inbox. And again, this is going to work with any type of digital product, MP3, PDF, Excel files and the list goes on. But there we go guys, the spreadsheet has now been listed. So all of this was done in less than, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes from building the spreadsheet in Claude to creating the website with Hostinger and being able to get it listed just like this. Didn't take too long whatsoever. But it goes without saying that once your website has been built, you've gone through it, you've created all of your different digital products, Using Claude, whatever type of digital product you're thinking about doing, you need to go through everything, make sure that you're completely happy with it. You also need to go over here on the left hand side, make any changes to the settings. If I just click into store, there's going to be some things that you need to do when it comes to making sure that you've completed your to do list. So as you can see, I've added a product. So this has been completed. You're also going to need to add a payment method as well, because if you don't do this, of course, you're not going to be able to get any type of customer. So as we can see, there's the option of PayPal, there's Stripe, there's all of these different ones. And there's going to be a process that you need to go through when it comes to connecting it and also verifying your account. It doesn't take too long. It could take less than a day for you to complete this, but this is definitely going to be an important part of the process. Just make sure that you select your right location when it comes to where your documents are registered. You don't need to do anything with the shipping because you're going to be focused on digital products. When it comes to the checkout, you're going to be able to add Terms and conditions, privacy policy, refund policy. So Hostinger has definitely made it really simple when it comes to being able to do everything in the right way to make sure that your store is legitimate. But back to the most important part of this entire process, which is how are you going to get traffic? Now, I'm sure most of you are probably thinking right now, Sam, what you've shown us is actually amazing. I've been able to get my website built. I'm ready to start putting it in front of people, but how can I do it? Now, because this video is all about using Google search, similar to the website that I showed you at the start, the way that you're going to rank a website like this in the Google search engine is going to come with blog articles. And being able to publish blog articles using Hostinger's AI tool is not difficult whatsoever because if I click into the editor over here, as we can see, I've got this blog page already set up with all of these different placeholder blog articles. But if we just go over here to the AI tools on the left hand side, you're going to see AI blog generator. And all you literally need to do is enter a description for what you want the blog post to be, the tone of voice, as well as the length of the content. And for you to get all this information, what you can do is go back over to the Gemini blueprint that you made, click into blog ideas just like this, and you're going to be able to select any one of these. So what I'm going to do is Go with this one over here, how to manage irregular income sources. Let's go back over to Hostinger. I'm going to select that I want the word count to be 1,500 to 2,000 words. As a matter of fact, let's go with 800 to 1,000 words. All you need to do is just paste the article title in there just like this. And you can tailor it in any way that you want to as well. But for the most part, I'm going to leave this how it is. And then I'm going to click on create content. And just like that, as you can see, it's now come back with this fully written article. So, so far it looks good. We've got the main headings, we've got the body of text, but when it comes to using AI under any circumstance, you just need to make sure that you read through it, make sure that you're completely happy with it, make sure that you make all the adjustments before you publish it for people to read. And writing the article is just one part of the job. When it comes to giving yourself the best chance of being ranked in the Google search results, you're going to have to connect your website to a Google search console so that you can see which pages are being indexed. 
But if we just go over here on the left hand side, click into pages, you're going to see the blog page over here. What you can do is click on SEO. And this is where Hostinger becomes extremely helpful because they've got this AI SEO assistant. So what you can do is click on generate new SEO information, enter a brief description about the blog page, something short and sweet like this. You know, this page is all about providing information about managing income and expenses for households. Click on next step. You're then going to be able to select the best keywords for this page. So I'm just going to select these ones, click on next. And as we can see, what whole thing is going to be able to do is show you the SEO title. It's going to show you the meta description as well. And then from there, what you can now do is just click on finish. And this isn't going to be a one time thing. You're going to publish multiple different articles on a consistent basis. I always recommend at least one article every single day. If you're able to do that, you're able to place the right keywords within the article. You're now going to be able to start getting organic traffic. And then from there, you're going to be able to get people going onto your website day in and day out. And I do want you to know that when it comes to using the Google search engine, you don't want to 100% rely on it. There's multiple different ways that you can get traffic. My favorite ways is to use social media platforms. So by posting content on social media, being able to get people that way is probably going to be one of the better options. You've also got the option of running paid ads as well. There's countless different sites similar to this one that are running meta ads, Google ads, a variety of different ads. And then from that, that's how they're able to generate sales. Yes, this video is about the Google search engine, but there's so many other ways for you to be able to get traffic to your newly built website. And I've got another video coming out real soon, where I'm going to be able to expand on all of these different methods. So be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you don't miss that video. If you've enjoyed this video, you've learned anything or you got any type of value from it, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. And if you want to watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago, where in this video, I go into a lot more details as to the step by step process of being able to build, start and launch a digital product store in 2026 as a complete beginner. You're going to be able to watch that video by clicking the link right there. Check that out straight after this because that video has already helped out countless people. And I'm sure if you're able to watch it from start to finish, it's also going to help you out as well. But as always, guys, I'm going to catch you on that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.